What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Rowdy Rick Show. On today's episode, we're going to finish up the BMW 550i. At least we're going to try to finish up. I don't know if we will. We have a lot of parts. Let me show you guys. As you guys can see, we got a lot of parts here, a lot of gaskets, a lot, a lot of gaskets. This is about almost $2,000 in just parts, throttle body gasket, timing cover gaskets uh, for the water pump, the valley pan, valve cover gaskets, valve cover gaskets, new water pump, new thermostat, spark plug, spark plug tubes, a bunch of O-rings, stuff for the O-rings for the injectors, alternator bracket gasket, oil, thermostat, O-rings, crank seal, which needs to be replaced, all the oil, air filter. Um, I'm also missing a box of brake rotors and brake pads front and back, because this is pretty much done. But this is where we left off on the last video. Valve covers have been removed ready to just be popped in spark plugs but valley pan the pipe in the middle actually looked good and in order to remove it and put the oem pipe you have to remove the heads and i didn't want to get that far into it i don't have any real coolant leakage coming out as you can see so we're just going to leave that in there if i need i will get the the stent from uh, beamer fix if it if it starts leaking eventually in the meantime we're gonna leave it as is we're gonna put the new crank seal in here but before we get to anything on the top we have to take off the alternator and the alternator bracket so that we could take off this timing cover I seen a video where some guy did it without removing that I just don't remember how he did it so we got to remove this anyway once we remove this we'll replace this gasket replace this gasket do the valve cover gasket, spark plugs, all that good stuff. Put the new valley pan on. Get the manifold over here. Put the new manifold gasket on there. New O-rings on the injectors. And uh, see how far we could get on today's video. It's a Saturday. It's 12, 12 p.m. right now. So hopefully it doesn't take us too long. Hopefully we could get it running by Monday, Memorial Day. So I'm going to put you guys up so you guys can see. All right, guys, so we're going to first start off with the crank seal. I got this from the BMW dealership. It was a bit expensive, but I just decided to go the safe route, get OEM. I didn't know really who who really makes this part. As a matter of fact, let me check to see if I see anything. No, I don't see no name, so I was at the dealership anyway because I needed to get... Uh, some certain o-rings and stuff like that and I already had the part numbers for it so I just figured I might as well just get the crank seal little did I know that it was gonna be pretty pricey but like anything BMW I should have expected it right right so I'm just tapping right here I'm not I'm not hitting it all crazy I believe all it's supposed to do is sit flush and you should be good the old one I took out was, it was pretty messed up, guys. I'll see if I find it right now and I'll show you. I left it here somewhere. But we did we did have a massive leak coming from the crankshaft, the front seal. So this is why we're doing this, this job. Let me move you guys out of the way a little bit. This is why it's also taking me quite a while to uh, upload the next video is because I had to order some some special tools to be able to make sure that when I put the harmonic balancer back on, I do it the right way and I'm not just guessing. So when we get to that part, I'll show you guys what I ordered and why you need it, I guess. You probably don't need it. You can probably do it without it, but you know, I'm not that advanced with this. So especially with this engine, so I'm not there yet. So I'll just get the part. We have a couple 550i's here, so I never know when I might need it again. I keep telling my brother that we should just buy more uh, more cars with the N62 engine because we've been we've been doing quite some work on all on a couple of them. So that experience, we might just be able to use it to fix more and 
fix them and sell them. I mean, people like them. People like 550Is. They're, they're, they're nice, they're fast. Once all the maintenance is out of the way, they could be reliable cars. What makes them unreliable is the people who are unreliable to do a maintenance on them, which I understand as well because maintenance on these cars are, are pretty pricey. Like an alternator bracket gasket job at a dealership or at, even at an independent shop, how much would that run you? Anybody know? I sure as hell don't, but I know it's about a thousand bucks. I think my brother got a quote on the starter for his 550i and they quoted him 1300, which is understandable because it's between the, the, man, the manifold, the exhaust manifold and the motor mount. So you gotta drop the subframe and do all kinds of little stuff, but me and my brother actually were able to do it through, through the back by the firewall. We took the bitch out, man. Bitch ass fucking oh starter. God. We took the bitch out. Let me see that motherfucker. It's right there, look. Oh, man. Bitch ass fucking starter. Came out through the top. Should I go get it tested? We should go get a fucking new one, bro, because even if we tested it. So we didn't have to drop no suffering. We didn't have to do any of that. And we didn't have to pay 1300 Almost there, guys. That's a little bit more. Little tiny lip. Tiny, tiny lip. That's it. Got a tiny, tiny lip right here. That's it. I feel good about that. So let me bring you guys back forward over here. Now this has a keyway in here. As you guys can see, the keyway. I believe the keyway is right here. Just set it. Hmm. Like I'm forgetting something. I believe it goes like this. There we go. Seems pretty much in. And now we got the bolt. So far, so good. I'm about to pull out the tool right now so you guys can see what tool I'm talking about that I needed to get. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> now that I'm here, I'm looking at this and I got the wrong damn kit. None of these holes line up with, with the crankshaft. I thought that was gonna go down there with a little, right here where this little hole is at. Doesn't line up. None of this shit is gonna work. So I'm gonna have to return it. The only good thing is that I actually had there's this piece right here and I could actually line it up with one of the bolts and a hole right here. So I'm gonna tie that and I'm tying this and I'll most likely be able to torque this down using that and then I'll probably return this item because I don't know what the hell this is for. It's head N62. I don't know what it's for though, to be honest with you. So I'll probably end up returning it. All right guys, so we're back. We're set up right here. This is nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and find the socket for this. I believe it was this 27. Yeah, 27 is what I used for that. And I actually have a Icon torque wrench that I'm gonna be using. It has, it, it's able to measure angle as well. And 60 degrees. Yeah, so the first torque is 100 Newton meters and the following is 360 degree angle turns. How much angle we're going to be putting on this. If I could get all 60, it says three. I've seen a couple people online do it. And it looks like they use a lot of, a lot of force. We're 
reset it, we'll give it another 60. Fuck guys, this is how you fucking ruin your day right here. Just like that, just that quick. <sighs> what can we do? Nothing. <laughs>